Side mounting an antenna on a tower can be challenging. Today, let me show you a solution that makes it easy. Hey everyone, welcome back to the DX Engineering channel. I'm Michael, KI8R. If you've ever tried to side mount an antenna on a tower or add a sidearm for a dipole, you know that it can be challenging. Coming up with the right hardware by wandering through your local big box store can be a time-consuming task. Today, I want to show you a solution that will make this much easier. The DX Engineering Genius clamps are designed to make mounting an antenna simple. These clamps come in two versions. The DXE SSGC2P is designed to mount a pipe or tube perpendicular to a tower or vertical mast, while the DXE SSGC2VP is designed for mounting a pipe or tube parallel to a tower or mast. These clamps are sold in pairs and are constructed of 1 8 inch thick 304 stainless steel. They will hold a pipe or tube with a diameter of 1 to 2 inches. There are various lengths of stainless steel bolts and hardware available to suit your application. Today, I'll be building the four most common applications for these clamps. But before we get into that, let's look at the two clamp sets and the hardware. The DXE SSGC 2P is a three-piece clamp set. The two outside pieces and an inner piece that has serrated edges on both sides. You'll notice that the inner piece has serrated edges 90 degrees from each other to allow the pipe or tube to be mounted perpendicular to the tower. The DXE SSGC 2VP is similar to the 2P, except that it has four pieces instead of three. Each piece is the same as the outside pieces of the 2P. This clamp allows for a pipe or tube to be mounted parallel to a tower or another pipe or tube. Remember that since the hardware is stainless steel, you'll want to use either JetLube SS30, Permatex Anisees, or Never Seize on the threads of these bolts. This will minimize any chance of thread gulling. So, let's head out to my tower and get started. The first configuration is the side mount. This is perfect for side mounting a vertical antenna on a tower. This arrangement requires three sets of the DXE SSGC 2P clamps, along with three packages of the properly sized bolts and hardware. You'll also need three sections of pipe or tubing to build the mount. To build this, I start by mounting four clamps to the tower, with two clamps on each leg properly spaced for this application. Next, I loosely fit the outside pieces onto the clamps, slide in the pipes or tubes, and then temporarily tighten the hardware. Then I attach two more clamps to one end of each pipe or tube. This is followed by loosely fitting the outside pieces of those clamps and sliding the vertical pipe or tube into place. Finally, I install the antenna and complete the installation, making sure the hardware is tightened. The next configuration is the sidearm. Sidearms are great for holding up an inverted V, dipole, or other wire antenna. To install this, I only need one set of the DXE SSGC 2P clamps and one set of the properly sized hardware. To build this, I start by mounting two clamps to the tower with one on each leg, parallel to each other. Next, I loosely fit the outside pieces of the clamps and slide the pipe or tube and tighten the hardware. There are several ways to mount a wire antenna on the end of a tube. I like using an eye bolt to hang a ballon. The third configuration is the mass mount. Installing a clamp on a mass with a horizontal pipe or tube will allow you to mount VHF or UHF Yagi antennas either in a stack configuration or as just two separate bands. This is a great way to maximize your mass space for multiple antennas. To build this, I start by mounting a single DXE SSGC 2P clamp to the mast. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm side mounting this to the leg of my tower. I start by mounting the clamp to the mast. Next, I loosely fit the outside piece of the clamp and slide the pipe or tube through the clamp. Next, I install the antennas. Once everything is centered, in place, and level, I tighten the hardware. The final configuration is for extending the mast. This will allow for mounting a pipe or tube to extend the height of the mast. To build this, I start by mounting a pair of the DXE SSGC 2 VP clamps to the mast. Next, I loosely fit the two outside pieces of the clamp, 
slide the Piper tube into place, and tighten the hardware. Depending on your installation, you may want to mount your antenna prior to extending the mast. As you can see, the Genius clamps are versatile and can help you create multiple ways of mounting additional antennas to your tower. Let us know in the comments if you've used these clamps and tell us if you've used them in a different configuration than one of the ones that I've shown here today. Thanks for watching today. I'm Michael, KI8R, and we'll catch you on the next one.